Hi friends, so today we are going to look about the hash table, how hashing works. So my name is Prem Asim Jain and uh, we will go look it at the test driven way. So I have a test case here and what we are trying to do is we are trying to understand the abstract data type which is called as hash table. So hash table is a data type uh, which use implicit data types and you know like hashing or hash map it's a very common thing. So today we are going to look at the custom implementation in Java. So how things goes is um, basically we are using a double hashing strategy. So let's uh, look at this class. This is hash table and uh, the implicit data type which we are using is the string. So uh, this would look like that you are trying to insert a value in a hash table and then you are trying to retrieve or find the value. If you are able to find it, then uh, it will return its index, else it would uh, return minus one. So uh, let's see uh, how it's been implemented. So what we did here is we have a hash table and we have a public constructor. So constructor takes the capacity. So when you are trying to build a table implicitly, what it does for the faster retrieval uh, it would uh, within the capacity it would store that particular item in certain location and when you need to get it based on the hash code you can retrieve it quickly. If you don't implement this then uh, uh, you have to probably do the linear search on each uh, element of the array to find that object. Uh, like for 0 is equal to the array length and if there are some empty slots still you would go over so on them to check so that the time is uh, like really uh, uh, the operation time is more. So uh, we are getting the benefit uh, that uh, we are storing at an index which is uh, given to us by a hash uh, code uh, by our strategy so we can pinpoint save it there and retrieve it there as simple as that. So what we did here is so in this algorithm uh, we pass the capacity means how much 13 items or 500 items. So it has to be odd. Now I will explain you later why the capacity needs to be odd because when it is even we are using a modulus function and we are expecting that it should return a remainder uh, so that it does not go in the infinite loop. For example, if you give a capacity as 10 and when you are calculating the remainder is 0, so each time nothing is moving and then it might go to an infinite loop. I am not uh, saying that it would always go, but go there, but there are chances just to avoid that. So what we are doing here is we are trying to find if number is prime. So uh, uh, we will check all the numbers, uh, whatever capacity we want till the square of that number if it is less than the capacity and then the remainder is 0 for any case it is not a prime number. So you can uh, google and I mean it is a simple logic as simple as that. So what if the number is prime? So in here if the number is prime then uh, you need to generate the next uh, nearest number which is prime to that. So we are using our own logic here by multi trying to multiply that number and finding if remainder is not like uh, if it remainder is not 0 actually whenever it is 0 it would break the loop and return false otherwise it would say return true. So here uh, uh, if you observe I have not given anything. So in for loop uh, anything if you do not give any capacity by default it is true otherwise usually you would see that people do this is equal to less than 10 or array dot length or whatever. This is the condition which terminates so technically I am here in the infinite loop because there is no terminating condition but I am sure that I will find some number here so that is how I will return next prime number and that, that should be it right. So let us go back where we are generating. So we will get a capacity for our array right and we call it as a hash array. So we are implementing the hash table but uh, 
underneath or beneath we are using the array which is a string array so let's go and understand about hash double hashing so what is uh, double hashing so you are trying to generate a hash code but there could be a chance that two numbers might generate the same hash code so there would be a collision so just to avoid that collision what you are going to do that you will get a hash code and then based on that hash code you will uh, uh, step up with some numbers so let's understand here we have used java's hash code method for the string and uh, once we get that we will get some big integer minus 1248 or something like that so then we will divide it with our array size uh, because we need a index within our array so that we can put the value there for example index 0 or index 5 or something like that right so once we divide it with that number that big number negative or positive we would get a remainder which we would assign to hash value now uh, if that value is negative we will just add this again so if this value is 13 13 and whatever this value so ultimately we will get a positive number which is within the range of the array I'll run it and show it to you in the debug uh, stuff so it would be more clear but just for now now uh, this is your hash function that uh, you will get a hash value and second if this uh, uh, value doesn't work we will use the hash value too now before I run it let's understand insert and then we'll debug the, uh, run it in debug mode so what we are trying to do is we are passing a string and then we are trying to generate the hash code and the step size and then we are trying to let me run it that would be you know easier for you to understand and me to explain so I'm running the test case in debug mode now this is taking us here so we got the hash value so hash value as I told you some minus 89,000 or million or whatever number so now we are trying to uh, divide this with the like moduli with the array size so we got the value as uh, like the 0 uh, for the 13 array size so this is uh, fine uh, we got the value so step size doesn't and since this is the first number now when we are trying to insert it we got the hash value which is the preferred index and we are trying to see if no value is stored before with that same name so uh, that's fine if it is not null some value is stored then we have to generate a new hash code with the step up else we can skip this part which we are skipping now we will save the word shri shri at uh, this location which is 0th index and then we are increment the counter of how many uh, numbers are used we are writing it there in the console and see here we will be writing it down and then we are returning so now we are trying to add different numbers for each time we are generating the hash code and then uh, we are going here so look here uh, there was a collision so Shri Shri 2 this is a different name altogether the item 2 but since it was generating the same hash code uh, we got in the collision so we cannot save it in here this value already has shri shri like the previous value so we need to step it up so we uh, added a step size of 3 which we got from the hash code 2 function in here and then uh, we did the moduli so we got the uh, next index which is 3 the hash value uh, so we are trying to save the this value at next index 3 and increasing the use thing and typing it so we will do now this while loop will uh, be used uh, till the time we do not find the uh, uh, appropriate number which is uh, uh, empty space so uh, that is how it is used let us go to the third number now let me go ahead from here uh, this is fine so and uh, rest all might get the unique index because they are all different 
so their basic hash code are different so the algorithm is eventually landing up in a different index value which are non colliding so this while loop or this condition will hit when we get the colliding index for our array based on the hash code so um, let's go through all of this now we will try to see our find thing right so now what we are doing so let's assume we have saved all these values so all these values are inserted in our array array length was 13 so a uh, first uh, 0th index the value shri shri got entered then shri shri 2 where there was collision so we found uh, and saved it at 3 and then the remaining values so when we are finding we are trying to apply the same strategy which means that we will generate the hash code for that particular string and then uh, um, in case if there is a collision we will have the step size also which is constant right so uh, then we will try to find uh, whatever the index we get if uh, the value is not null and if it's not null if it meets or if it's equal ignore case like the same word then we return the index for that otherwise we will try uh, there could be a possibility that uh, the uh, index we are getting there is a value for example i am looking for a seam as the value here you see the word a seam or from here the a seam so this value we have never inserted but uh, the hash code which it might uh, generate for the asim may be you know uh, may be uh, equal to shri shri 2 right uh, hash code which was there so we will compare if it's not null we will compare and if this thing meets uh, um, like till the time if it meets we will return the index otherwise we will run through so in this case we are telling it minus 1 we couldn't find it now we are trying to find the shri shri value so uh, when we are trying to find shri shri value we got uh, the hash code which is the hash value i would say hash code is uh, given by the java we see here and then we convert it in a hashing value which is within the index of our array range so uh, we got the hash value uh, which is zeroth index we retrieved the value and we found that it matched with our word so we are going to return it so now this value would get returned and that's the end of this test case everything is green everything is fine and happy right so guys this was uh, the hash code uh, like the hash table implementation using the inbuilt java's hash code and the uh, string array a custom implementation hope you like it uh, please follow my channel subscribe it if you think this is a good video do a thumbs up or uh, you can leave a comment i am leaving the code file in the comment of the video so if you care you can just download this from git and then just play around with it thanks guys enjoy